Good morning, um, everybody, and uh, welcome to our first uh, V-Doctor sales session. My name is Ruben van Achter, and I am the business development manager for VMware at Tech Data. Now, before we're going to start with the uh, actual uh, presentation, um, I would like to uh, tell you something more about why we uh, launched the V-Doctor sessions. So, um, VMware has a pretty big uh, and extensive portfolio of um, products and solutions. They are well known uh, for their virtualization software in the market, but they offer way more than uh, virtualization alone. Um, and that is what we would like to show you during the uh, VDoctor sales sessions. So in short, the VMware offers products and solutions in five main um, categories or uh, pillars, and that is multi-cloud, virtual cloud network, and user computing or anywhere workspace, intrinsic security and application modernization. And with uh, VDoctor, we want to introduce and inspire um, new and existing VMware partners with the VMware portfolio so they can unlock the advantages of, of the full VMware portfolio and offer innovative solutions uh, to their customers in a multi-cloud world. How are we going to do that? Well, that's pretty simple. Uh, with a five-part series of uh, short webinars, uh, first starting with the sales sessions, and afterwards we would like to follow this up with the technical sessions, but they will probably start uh, during Q3, Q4. Um, and those sessions uh, should explain the VMware portfolio and products uh, step by step. Over here, you can see um, an overview of the session schedule. So as you can see, we've already planned uh, three sessions, multi-cloud, virtual cloud network, and end-user computing. The uh, session four and five uh, are coming soon. Now, let's say you got inspired by one or more um, VDoctor sales sessions, and you're ready to take the next step. Um, you would like to become a VMware partner, or you would like to start uh, with and or develop one or more VMware solutions, then please uh, contact myself or uh, Sven Van Asch from VMware, um, because we got some uh, business development tracks um, that can guide, support, and incentivize you on your journey in the VMware Partner Program. And that should uh, get you able to um, offer uh, one or more VMware solutions to your customers. Those are uh, our contact details, so feel free to, to take a screenshot um, and contact us if you want to. Um, now, during the presentation, if you have any questions, feel free to um, yeah, ask them in the chat box or unmute yourself and uh, pose your question. Uh, or you can wait until the end of the, the presentation uh, from Leontine, uh, where we provided some time for a Q&A. That's about it for uh, the introduction. Um, so Leontine, uh, go ahead with the presentation. Thank you. Just gonna share my um, screen two seconds. Now you see the right screen, yeah? Yes, we do. Okay, perfect, thank you. Um, so hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Leontine van Gerwe. I'm an Associate Digital Solution Engineer within uh, VMware. Today, I'm going to present our first uh, VDoctor sales session, which is about multi-cloud. Here on this slide, basically, you can see um well the overview of all the different subjects that we are going to handle within the v doctor sales sessions today our focus is on multi-cloud i have divided multi-cloud in three different uh parts three different sections first of all we will talk about vmware on-premise or on-premise portfolio then we will look into the expansion to um the cloud and our different cloud providers and lastly, we will also go into the cloud management platform. As you can see, you can also see the other main priorities of VMware on this slide, but those um, we will handle in the other VDoctor sessions. So there we will talk about virtual cloud network, any workspace, modern applications, and also intrinsic security. 
Um, but before we let before we get started, um, let me summarize again our VMware vision. First of all, we have customers. They our customers they can have a modular environment, whether it's on premise or in the public cloud or in a hybrid or in a hybrid cloud or even using both. Uh, maybe they also have like different branches. Uh, without a dedicated um, data center, for example. And in that case, it's also useful to have edge cloud solutions. So we basically want to support our customer um, while using any clouds. Second to that, we also um, have our customers. Um, they leverage traditional applications, but also cloud native applications, which uh, we also call uh, modern apps or even SaaS applications, uh, which are directly delivered through the internet. So we also want to support any application. And on top of that, we also want to support any device. It basically means that all our solutions, they are accessible on any device, whether it's on a phone, it's on a watch um, or a laptop, it's all possible. And next to that, lately, we have also added um, a new any to that, which is basically any worker. It's a lost pillar that we have developed through um, last year because, um, well, our work style has changed a bit. And uh, now also we want to support workers from any workplace, whether they are at home, whether they are in the office, or I don't know where. So this vision, this gives us five strategic areas, which are basically the key strategic areas or the key strategic priorities of VMware today. First of all, that's multi-cloud. As we have said, um, like this is all about having this modular and flexible environment, depending on the customer's needs and requirements, of course. Next, we have virtual cloud network. So as a company's network is much more distributed today, um, because for example, we have people working from home, our network uh, still must be of course reliable in terms of both performance, but also in terms of security. Our third pillar is application modernization. People need the ability to leverage and to optimize the legacy apps that they have invested in, but we also want to modernize their applications if they need. Then uh, we also have the Anywhere workspace, which is the possibility to work from anywhere, but again, of course, in a secure and performant fashion. And then lastly, uh, we have intrinsic security. Um, this is basically our approach of always um, building in security and in the heart of the solutions and not on top of that. And that's basically why we call it intrinsic security. So now I'm going to start with the first uh, part of multi-cloud, which is basically going to um, talk about our VMware on-premise data center. So here you can see our first solution, which is vSphere. vSphere is uh, well the, pro the product that we are most known for. It's um, the product that's going to virtualize uh, the compute part of the data center, uh, meaning we are virtualizing the servers, and then we are able to run virtual machines on top of that. That product is actually called our hypervisor. And we have basically the hypervisor on the market. Um, then we also have vCenter. vCenter is um, basically where we are going to centrally manage our vSphere environment in a centralized fashion. Because of course, it's cool to uh, virtualize our servers and to run um, applications on top of them, but it's even more important to have like the single pane of glass where we can manage all these um, vSphere environments actually. So uh, our, this is basically, um, well, the licensing model of 
uh, vSphere. So we basically have different editions. The main editions are standard, standard and enterprise plus. And then also we have um, different kits if you want to buy it in packs. Now we're also at vSphere edition seven, which means um, this edition focuses at more on uh, security and actually also preparing our customers for um, modernizing their applications. So we have a lot of different uh, features into uh, this new version. Then our second uh, product is vSEN. vSEN is actually the solution where we are gonna virtualize the storage of the environment. Uh, with vSEN, there is no storage bay. So the, dis the disks, they are directly inside your host. And such a product is called the hyperconverged infrastructure. And um, this also is completely accessible through our vCenter. So it's managed by our vCenter. And of course, with this, we reduce the total cost of ownership and we enhance performance. Because before, we had uh, three different elements. You had the server, you had storage network, and you had the storage array. And um, the way to go was actually a uh, capital expenditure kind of, uh, well, market way to go, so to say. So um, the upfront cost was really big and that's why we came with this solution to the market. So um, the main use case for our, our customers is basically when uh, vSEN becomes interesting, when the customer has a hardware refresh coming up. Um, and there are three different um, deployments uh, options for the customer. The turnkey deployment solution is actually our VX Rail, uh, which are servers of uh, Dell EMC. So you can get new servers uh, and they have vSphere and vSAN already directly installed. Another option is to work with uh, ReadyNode. Those are servers um, optimized for vSAN leveraging. And um, basically, yeah, we work together with an ecosystem of 15 different uh, partners. And then the last option is to build your own, which is uh, obviously like a more ex excessive option, so to say. So here is our, v our different vSAN licensing packages. We have three different editions. First of all, we have the standard edition, which has the most basic functionalities. Then we have the advanced edition, uh, which becomes in interesting if the customer also needs duplication and uh, compression functionalities, for example. And then we have the enterprise edition, which also gives uh, more functionalities in terms of disaster recovery and encryption. Our um, next product on the list is VCF. Uh, well, before the initial deployment of all these different solutions was actually um, a nightmare before because they can take up to several weeks and also life cycle management um, still needed to be done manually. So all the updates, patching and uh, dependencies, they were still all done manually. And that's why, that's why we came to the market with VCF. VCF is basically a bundle of vSphere, vSAN and NSX. We also um, give extra lifecycle management to it. So with uh, lifecycle management, uh, we can basically, well, it relates to different tasks such as deployment, such as configuration, patching, and upgrades of software components. And why would actually people buy VCF? Mostly it's actually the reason is um, the lifecycle management. Um, because otherwise you can also, of course, buy uh, vSphere, vSAN, and SX as a standalone um, option. But well, the good thing about this is actually um, that we also have this management platform on top of it. So um, in terms of implementation, VCF implementation has to be done on um, greenfield infrastructure, which means that uh, the in 
it's basically infrastructure that starts from scratch. So the best time to sell VCF is also during a hardware refresh, which is basically the same as vSAN. Because like if an enterprise wants to keep its current infrastructure, the servers, they will, they will have to be reformatted. So they, they would need some extra additional uh, resources to back up um, the, the data during the reformatting, so to say. The next solution that we have is VMC Andal. Uh, VMC Andal is basically a bit or VCF, but in partnership with Dell. The difference is that this is, first of all, a subscription offering, and Dell is. Um, Dell will take care of the installation and VMware will manage the lifecycle management of, the, of it. So the goal is for the customer to focus on consuming the resources as the delivery, the installation and the maintenance is all done by Dell and then the lifecycle management by VMware afterwards. So VMC on Dell is also delivered on uh, VX Real. So that was basically our on-prem data center. But now uh, we also see that companies, clients, they want to expand their infrastructure um, as the company uh, grows or like the business grows and they need more IT because they might run out of space, for example, in their own data centers. So basically they require more resources. Um, in this second part, we will discover um, our VMC on AWS solution and also our different disaster recovery solution. But before we go into that, um, I'm basically going to talk about, okay, but how do we actually make the bridge from our um, on-premise environment to the cloud? Well, we basically do this with HCX. HCX, HCX allows us to have a seamless hybrid cloud. And so this product is basically the solution that allows us to move and migrate workloads from a data center to the cloud. So this can be used to migrate huge amounts of virtual machines between two customer um, data centers on premise, for example, but it does work between any kind of environment. So we also have, um, of course, different um, additions into HCX. If you go for an enterprise um, edition, of course, you get more features. Also, this product is also included in our uh, VMC on AWS solution. So that's also um, a big plus. So now let's look into uh, the public cloud. So here we see that we have partnerships with the main public cloud providers. Uh, for example, uh, VMC on AWS. Uh, we also have a Google offering, which is called Google Cloud VMware Engine. We have an Azure offering, which is Azure VMware solution, or we also have Oracle Cloud VMware solution, for example. And basically we have um, customers who prefer to go with one provider, for example, of, or they have, they want like to focus on any of the specialties that these uh, providers offer. So that's why we have all these different partnerships. But our most mature partner, partnerships, it, partnership is actually with AWS. Why do um, people choose this option? Well, uh, first of all, our customers, they want to um, be able to use the benefits of, of the cloud. So they want to focus on consumption. They want to focus on scalability and agility, but also use the native services that actually um, AWS offers. Um, and for this solution, VMware is also the single point of contact 
for both the on-premise and the cloud parts of the infrastructure. Um, secondly, um, another benefit to this solution is actually the single pane of glass uh, through vCenter, of course, of course. So we are using this kind of hybrid link mode to link the on-premise environment to the cloud environments. And that's how we can create this single pane of glass um, in terms of management and visibility. Um, next to that, this is also the, the fastest migration to the cloud. So um, we can do live hot migrations of different virtual mach machines between the on-premise and the cloud environment. So, um, of course, like I said, we are working with um, different um, cloud provider partners. Um, the recipe is mostly the same, um, but like for Azure, for example, the client is going to interact with VMware for on-premise and with a hyperscaler for the cloud part. So um, there we also have VMware as a point of contact. Uh, for example, here again, we see um, our three different cloud solutions explained in one slide. And here you can also see, obviously, okay, what is the reason why the clients are actually interested in the public cloud? Well, you can see that uh, the management of both hardware and software um, goes actually to the public cloud providers. So it's not the customer's responsibility anymore. Uh, so now that we have gone into this cloud expansion, another reason why customers have another environment is basically for disaster recovery. Um, so this time, um, the purpose is not to expand the current infrastructure, like we don't get another environment to get more resources, but we get this new environment to replicate uh, virtual machines to make sure that we have availability in case of a disaster. So this disaster can be both a natural disaster or like ransomware, for example. To recover from a disaster, what do we need? Well, we need an orchestrator. Um, that's something that's going to activate the replicas on the secure site during the disaster. And then we are going to actually bring it back to the main site when um, all the problems are solved. At VMware, we have different uh, solutions for disaster recovery. Our uh, first solution is um, Site Recovery Manager. This is basically our disaster recovery orchestrator on premise. So it's orchestrating the recovery from the main data center to a data center that is uh, specially dedicated to um, disaster recovery. But um, lastly, we have also launched to um, disaster recovery as a service solution, which means basically that the virtual machines, they are replicated to the clouds and not to, um, well, another of the customer's data centers, so to say. So our first product in um, that view is basically uh, VMware site recovery. And there we are, have the VMs and they are actually replicated to the VMC on the on AWS side. And um, that's switched on in case of a disaster. The second option is um, our VMware cloud disaster recovery solution. And there we uh, replicate VMs first to a relatively cheap cloud provider. And then in case of, um, a disaster in case that a disaster happens, they are going to be sent to VMC on AWS and that gets activated. So the main difference between the two uh, would be both in, in time of downtime. So with uh, VCDR, we have um, up to four hours of downtime and with our VMware site recovery manager, um, this can be less than 30 minutes. 
So that was the DR part. And then I'm going to go to the last part of the presentation, which is our Virilize Suite and Cloud Health. Those are our cloud management uh, platform solutions. So our first um, solution is Virilize Operations. So this gives us billability and optimization for both on-premise and hybrid environments. Um, we like to say that it's basically switching from an AD score uh, when you uh, to like a new car to a modern car that says like, okay, but how many kilometers uh, can I still drive? Which car component is not behaving like usual or like it does beep, beep, beep when my seat belt is not attached, for example. So I guess like you can see the difference like with the old car and like the modernized car. So um, this is mostly going to enhance our performance. So we are optimizing the way uh, virtual machines are distributed, but also sized. So we can relocate resources based on what is actually needed by the different virtual machines. Also, we are optimizing in terms of capacity um, and cost. We can start to proactively um, do capacity planning in terms of CPU, in terms of memory, in terms of storage. And there's also the possibility to reclaim idle resources. Um, then we also do uh, proactive monitoring. So we can do proactive troubleshooting, which will um, results in a reduction in unplanned downtime and foster is issue resolution processes using actionable recommendations. And lastly, with proactive monitoring, we also touch compliance so we can track and remediate configuration breaches um, or like we can define when we drift away from a situation to make sure that we stay compliant. So our VROPS environment can be accessed on vCenter or through its own interface, which is the Virilize Operation Manager. And that's actually an interface that gives even more uh, possibility. When does this get interesting for the customer? Well, we need to define the ratio of workloads on capabilities um, so that we can make sure that, of course, this is relevant for um, the customer. The power also of this product actually resides in its integration uh, with VMware, but also other third party solution, making the collection and the analysis of data even more insightful for the whole customer environment. Uh, VROPS is both for hybrid and on-premise environments, whereas we have another solution that I'm gonna touch upon near the end of the presentation, it's called Cloud Health. And that's basically, well, mainly for our public and multi-cloud environments. But uh, VROPS and Cloud Health, they can be integrated together using um, management packs. Another solution um, of the Virilize suite is actually Virilize Log Insight. This gives us meaningful log analytics. So uh, before troubleshooting could take several hours because we had a um, million of logs from many different sources. And now this solution is actually going to provide us insight uh, at everything that's producing logs. So not only the VMware ecosystem. This can also be integrated into the Virilize Operations Manager for even greater troubleshooting as it brings information also on the unstructured um, data site, so to say. And then we have Virilize Automation. With Virilize Automation, we can actually automate applications and infrastructure deployments. Um, the main purpose of a virtualized automation is to make the life of admins and developers easier by automating processes 
such as provisioning so that they can be less time consuming so that they can be consistent because once registered of course there's no risk anymore of uh, manual mistakes and also um, making sure that we are secure as there will be uh, rules associated or governance associated with the automation that uh, well the organization creates. So as I said, you can even buy, you can buy um, these solutions standalone, or we can also send, sell them into a package, which is our virulized suite. We have three different uh, packs, uh, the standard pack, the advanced pack, and the enterprise pack. So it depends like on which pack you choose, which solutions are actually included. But on top of that, as you can see, we also have the virtualized suite um, lifecycle manager that's included in all the packages. This is basically a comprehensive application lifecycle and content management solution. Um, this will help to actually accelerate time to value. So this will simplify deployment. This will simplify patching and, upgrade, and upgrading processes with um, automated, automated pre-checks, for example, and different uh, validation processes. This will also minimize ongoing management because it's easy to manage real realized suite components and configurations through this uh, manager. It will also improve uh, end user productivity because um, we are going to make sure that we deliver the right content to the right end users across the multiple environments so that they don't get overloaded with information that they don't need. And this is also going to make sure that the customer can enable best practices. So we um, have different alignments with uh, VMware recommended reference architectures and validated designs. Our last product uh, that I want to touch upon for today is our cloud health product. This can help managing multi-cloud environments by reporting on cloud spends, by reporting on usage and performance. Um, what are we gonna do? We are gonna group uh, this into different business relevant groupings for show and charge back. And then we can start optimizing cloud spend via different tools. Uh, so for example, we can um, do right sizing of different VMs, or we can um, take some commitment advice, for example. Next to that, we can also set, dif set different governance policies to take action or to get like alerts on specific conditions. And so we can create reports on compliance um, and security frameworks, so to say. So this really gives us full visibility on multi-cloud environments. And this is basically the unified platform to, mon to monitor these different environments. So how do we license this? Well, um, our licensing model is basically based on public cloud spend that is being managed within the platform. So the customer will commit to an upfront one or three year contract and based on their monthly cloud spend, they will be charged a small percentage on an upfront basis. So there are three options um, and these are actually these percentages are actually directly our price list, so to say. Um, yeah, and that was the last solution actually. So hereby I want to like close the chapter of multi-cloud. And as you can see, we have already done actually half of the slide almost. Um, and that's basically because while well, we were the pioneer in virtualization, then we went to the private cloud, then we went on to the hybrid cloud, and now it's time for VMware to be the leader in multi-cloud. So 
this is basically our core business now and it will also be so for the future um i don't know if there are any questions from the audience Thank you, Leontine, for the great presentation. Um, if there are no questions, then I think we can uh, end the first Fee Doctor session uh, right here. Um, thank you for joining us today. Uh, and we hope to see you again at the next uh, Vdoctor session about virtual uh, cloud network. Thank you. <laughs>